Welcome everybody, my name is Melissa Jelson, faculty in the Department of Modern and Classical Languages and Literatures. I'm here today because I'm currently serving as the chair of the University Senate, and it's my distinct pleasure to introduce to you today the president of the University of North Dakota, Dr. Robert Kelly. This semester, we have the largest first day spring enrollment in the history of the university little under 14,000. Our entering freshman class has had the highest academic credentials in the history of our university. Uh, the ACT score is just a little below 24, the highest average GPA in the history of entering any entering class, uh, 3.4. This year, we have retained about 80% of our students from the previous semester into this current semester. So as we look at institutional goals and we try to understand how these indeed are aspirational, stretch goals for five years, obviously we have to equip our students to be successful. And I think it's a very reasonable goal to say that we will increase the retention of our first year freshmen, 90%, increase the percentage of students who will then graduate in four years. If we retain our students, and if we graduate our students in a reasonable amount of time, and if we recruit more students through all of the incentives that we can put for before students, primarily outstanding, exceptional academic programs, we will be able to increase the enrollments on this campus. And I think a goal that is reasonable over five years would be to grow to 16,000 students. That third pillar has to do with our continued emphasis as a research institution on our scholarship. If we are going to attain a goal of $125 million of as, uh, our sponsored program expenditures by 2020. This is going to take some work on our part. We've got to pay attention to our faculty and, and this, the fourth pillar there where you see the 100, that's a, uh, a goal for our endowments for student scholarships and for faculty named chairs. And I don't think it's an unreasonable stretch to say that we are going to be renovating and adding on to those resources for our students and our faculty and academic program success uh, over the next five years. And I would suggest that we think about re re renovating about 20 classroom learning spaces every year. So this is our 2020 vision for the future. A strong library is absolutely core. It's central to the success of our research enterprise. And we're going to be spending a great deal of attention and about 7.8 million projected dollars into our library expansion and renovation for the Chester Fritz. I almost don't know where to enter the discussion of our nickname and logo progress. <laughs> Last Friday afternoon, we, I received in my office about 5 o'clock the report from the task force that we had appointed to develop the process to get us into selecting a new name and logo. I have received that. I'm reviewing it very carefully. It is an excellent report. It is very thorough. It was exactly what the university needed, and I want to thank all of the people who worked on this task force for developing a very functional and operational uh, set of recommendations. So thanks to all of you for listening to me for a few minutes. Thanks to all of you for creating an exceptional UND.